You know who is the biggest fan of fly fishing? The worm. <laughs> Stanislav Mankovic is een vliegvisser. En samen door Kruis we zijn geboorteland in Bulgarije. Stanislav die gaat proberen mij alles over de kunst van het vliegvissen bij te brengen. Some people like go hiking, for example, yeah. and they don't understand fishermen. They ask me, "What are you doing here all day on this lake? Yeah. Isn't Being it bored and boring?" Waiting. Yeah. Uh, we saw so much by going uh, to the next summit over there. Uh, but I asked them, "Then did you saw how this uh, big trout chase the small minnows and they try to escape in this morning?" And they say, "We didn't saw that." The philosophy of fly fishing, I think, is really close to nature, to understand nature. What is hatching, why the fish is taking this or that at this certain moment, the river level, what is flowering at the moment, everything is important. I think you should really understand nature to be a good fly fisherman. <laughs> Still a fish to appreciate. So there really are people who are addicted to fly fishing. Oh yes, <laughs> like a drug. There are like a drug. It's like a, I'm addicted too, of course. Yeah, uh, but you have made your job out of it. I made a job out of it. Yeah, it's guiding people. Guiding people. It's my uh, my way to spend more time on the river mm -hmm. and still make a living. Daar ken ik de nood om het water op te zoeken. Ik vis al sinds ik heel jong was waar dan mijn werk of mijn vakanties mij ook brengen. Overal ga ik gaan vissen. Op alle soorten water en de meest uiteenlopende vistechnieken. Ik heb nooit voor één specifieke manier van vissen gekozen, zoals de meeste vissers. En daarom zoek ik andere vissers van een andere discipline om mij te leren. I always remember this that I was with my mother on an airplane and I fell asleep like this and I dreamt of this uh, calm water on a lake and a fly slowly falling down and the fly fell down on the water surface and this big trout came up slowly and took the fly and I stroke and I hit my mother. <laughs> You're a lot of energy, you can dig a little bit and then you can put your hands on top and they spit the acid and then you can inhale it and that gives you a little bit of strength. <laughs> Ah! Even my hands. No. <laughs> and so uh, your wife, she fishes too? Well, she started. There are not many women, especially in Bulgaria, who fly fish. She managed to learn to cast good enough to catch fish. Mm -hmm. And we were nymph fishing and uh, I put her an indicator so it's easier for her to detect the take. And she told me at the end of this day that she thinks she understands the why we fish. I say why? Uh, because when you watch your indicator, she says you don't think of anything else. You don't think of work. You don't think of any problems, and uh, you just concentrated uh, to catch the fish. And it's a happy moment. And I said, Yeah, you got it right. It goes dus over veel meer dan de vangst alleen. It is an obsessie, a manier van leven. When I was sitting in class, if it was boring for me, I sometimes thought about fish or I draw flies. And I always carry this little mono line in my pocket so I can tie some knots. I practice knots. On, I can say I'm pretty fast now with uh, tying knots. <laughs> yeah, it's always been fishing, fishing, fishing. Sometimes it, get, it annoys the other people around me and I understand it, but it's uh, part of me, so... <laughs> I can't really change it, I'm definitely not trying to. <laughs> I have this uh, old friend who said he invented <laughs> the catch and release in Slovenia because it, he was uh, at school, I think in the early 60s, and he was skipping classes and of course he was going fishing and he didn't want to bring the fish back home, so he had to release it, so he said I invented <laughs> catch and release. <laughs> 
don't think there's any fishermen in my whole family, not even in the bigger family. You don't become fishermen, you are born fishermen. That's true, they say. It is true, it's in your blood. The true fisherman. Ik herinner mij nog bijna elke vangst. Wat dat vooral bijblijft, zijn de ontmoetingen met andere vissers. Allemaal anders, allemaal bijzonder en allemaal heel gemoedelijk. Het water en de passie voor het vissen verbindt ons. Imagine, will we still fish if uh, the fish scream when we hook it? <laughs> Maybe I would stop fishing at this time, or I would try to catch a fish that doesn't scream so loud. <laughs> Can I smell it? Yes. To show what used to be a dream is now just a dream. Stone river, water in run. When you look at, at the average, it's about uh, 150 days a year for the last 15 years. So it's every third day. <laughs> yeah, my friend Jim from UK says, "Happy day, Stan. Happy days." <laughs> What's going on? So, <laughs> it's happy days. Yeah, most of the time it's happy days. Happy days. Zo is het. Ik ben al benieuwd wie dat de volgende gaat zijn die ik tegenkom aan de waterkant. Wat ik ervan ga kunnen leren over vissen, maar ook over hun manier van denken en leven. Stone.